nothing that we do should be irrelevant. So while you are doing it, you also have to think into the future. There is an element in the office where you will see uh, words related to architecture and emotions that architecture can bring about. All those words are engraved on a beam. The thought process is okay at any given point of time. You stop working, look at your design and assess your design with respect to a few words over there. Does it bring about a certain emotion? Does it address these things? So that was the thought. And subconsciously, when you read something, it makes an impact on your mind. The first computer that we installed in our office was 1982. So he was very conversant with technology way back. I remember he used to write this routine, programming. So he used to program the software and use functions the way he wanted. So that was something that today also I mean, I can't think of doing it. He did it way back. Every individual is different. But since we worked together for more than 15 years, there is some uh, convergence. Since I am trained into a period where uh, every square foot had a cost, and that cost was important. So circulation, utility of the space, not wasting the space, were the criteria. And he also uh, worked with me for 15 years. So some of the values have already uh, are with him. So functionality is important. We don't compromise on functionality. That is a common thread. Nothing at the cost of function. Buildings and projects have to work and function well. Have to stay relevant for a long time. Timelessness is something that we try and ensure that we had a larger height to the office. And uh, it's difficult to find 14 feet high spaces, at least in Pune. One of the idea was to emphasize the verticality, the height, uh, not to break it down by having false ceilings. All the doors also, if you see, are 12 feet height. It's very difficult to otherwise use dark colors and bold colors in the projects. Fortunately, this space allowed us to do it. And where else can you experiment than your own space? materials in the office, the flooring. Each material has its own texture. I am fond of wood, so I've used teak wood to add to the warmth. The main door is cotton steel. All the light fixtures are uh, fabricated in cotton steel. His uh, attention to the detail, creativity, skills are a very vast pool of experience. It's more about discussing, welcoming new ideas, for a few days, I don't work on the project. I allow everyone to work on it. So that's to see how and what different ideas come forward. And then it's about collaboration for me now. Both are extremely talented, hardworking, but at the same time, very grounded. Their relationship with the team is very cordial. The team member feels very secured, very motivated, and very appreciated to work here. Bold designs, when I started practicing, there were uh, no uh, great uh, many buildings in our country. As the time went on, and then I started realizing that the buildings cannot overpower the humans. So there was a period I started getting influenced by Richard Neutra's works. Even today, to my students, my office staff, I uh, uh, take out a volume and tell him this look how the exterior has come into the house. If I didn't do up this office the way I liked it, I have no right to tell anyone that you should do it this way. <laughs>